uh, we will solve this exercise and we will see how to find the net or the resultant electrostatic force acting on a charge in a system of charges in two dimensions where this charge is not located at the right angle find the net electrostatic force acting on QC so this is QC okay first we have to identify the forces that act on QC since we have two other charges then A will apply a force on C and B will apply a force on C let's start with the force applied by A on C I will hide QB According to Coulomb's law, the force applied by A on C is equal to KC QA QC over RAC squared. Okay. QA is given as negative 2 microcoulombs. QC is given as negative 6 microcoulombs. But RAC, which is the distance from this point to this point, is not given. If we draw this triangle, this one, it is a right angle triangle. This is the hypotenuse. So this side squared is equal to this side squared plus this side squared. So RAC squared, which is the distance from A to C, is equal to RAB squared, the distance from A to B, plus RBC squared, the distance from B to C. We replace RAC, we square both sides, it will be in this form. We replace and we get the answer RAC is equal to 5 meters now we replace in this formula FAC equals KQAQC over RAC squared okay. FAC equals 9 times 10 to the power of 9 for KC QA we convert from microcoulombs to coulombs times 10 to the power of negative 6 QC is negative 6 times 10 to the power of negative 6 we also convert it to coulombs over the distance from A to C is 5 squared. So the answer will be 4.32 times 10 to the power of negative 3 newtons. As you see, FAC points this way, along the line of action from this point to this point. Because A and C are like charges, they are both negative. So they repel each other. So A will push C away or will repel C away in this direction. Now, we uncover B and we cover A. We need to calculate F, B, C. First, F, B, C goes in this direction. Why? B and C are unlike charges. They attract each other. So the effect of B or the force applied by B on C is a force pointing towards B, a force of attraction. F, B, C equals K, C, Q, B, Q, C over R, B, C squared. QB is given as 4 microcoulombs. Q, C is negative 6 microcoulombs. And the distance between them is... 4 meters we replace and we find the answer as 0 0.0135 newtons now we have to start thinking of how to find the net electrostatic force acting on QC we check the forces FBC points this way FAC points this way okay they are not collinear and they are not at right angle so what do we do the only way is to break FAC down into its components. Then we find the resultant vector or the resultant force along the X direction, the resultant force along the Y direction, and then we find the resultant or the net force. Let's see how we will do this. I will draw the axis. And this is FAC. I copied FAC to the XY system. Okay, if I want to break it down into components, I draw a line parallel to the y-axis, a line parallel to the x-axis. This will be FACX, and this will be FACY. Now, to find the components of a vector at an angle, I have to use an angle. So, I will need this angle. As you see, this angle is between FAC and the horizontal axis. So, it's the same as this angle between FAC and the horizontal axis. Now, this angle is the same as this angle. Why? They are vertically opposed angles. So this angle is equal to this angle. So if I calculated this one, I will have this one, and I will have the angle to find the components of FAC. Now, let's see. For this angle, 
the opposite is this side which is 3 meters in length the adjacent is this side which is 4 meters in length so I will use theta is equal to 10 inverse of opposite which is 3 over adjacent which is 4 so 10 inverse 3 over 4 and find the angle alpha so to find the angle alpha this is what we do next step I have to find the components FACX and FACY with respect to this angle alpha FACX is an adjacent side so FACX is equal to FAC cosine 36.87 which is the angle that we calculated alpha we replace we get the answer for FACX FACY this side is an opposite side this one this vertical dashed line which is equal in length to FACY so it's the same as FACY the opposite relates to sine so FACY is equal to FAC sine 36.87 and I find the answer now I will add the other force FBC to this system so this is FBC I will find F net or the resultant force along the X axis and then the resultant force along the Y axis F net X is equal to FACX minus FBC this one minus this one so I replace I will get this as a negative 0.01 newtons then for F net Y I have nothing pointing in the positive Y direction so I will write 0 minus the other side which is FAC Y we replace and we get this answer now to find F net as you see we found F net X and F net Y when I say F net X it means it is a vector on the X axis F net Y is a vector on the Y axis so they should be perpendicular to each other then I can use the Pythagorean now F net equals square root of F net X squared plus F net Y squared I will replace to get the final answer for the magnitude of F net which is 0 0.0103 newtons we're done with the magnitude we need to find the direction we will draw F net X and F net Y F net X is pointing along the negative X direction because it has a negative answer same thing for f net y since it's negative it will be pointing down the negative y direction to draw f net we draw the dashed lines and this will be f net okay to find the direction the direction will be i will draw it it will be this part from the positive x front counterclockwise all the way to the vector okay from this point to this point we know that it is 180 degrees so we need to find the remaining part which is this one which I named as theta so I will remove this part to make it clear so if I calculate this and I add it to 180 I will get the direction or the reference angle theta is equal to 10 inverse f net y over f net x is always like that no you have to check the opposite and the adjacent so this is theta this side I'm pointing at is the opposite side which is the same as this side which is f net y is the same equal in length so it's equivalent to f net y in length or in magnitude so this is the side opposing the angle the adjacent is this one which is f net x when you replace in the 10 inverse function either use the absolute value or just ignore the minus signs why is that because I am going counterclockwise which is the positive direction in this case I don't want to get different answers that will confuse me okay we replace for f net y and f net x and we get this answer 14.57 so the direction or the reference angle of the vector will be as we said it is 180 plus theta so 180 plus 
theta, which gives 194.57 degrees from the positive x front.